Cheryl appeared to make a playful jibe at her ex Liam Payne on Saturday's The Greatest Dancer, as she was unimpressed by his FaceTime call as part of a social network themed routine. Drafting in some of her celebrity pals, the songstress implemented the video messages into a dance by street dance group The Throwbacks, with Liam leaving her stony faced after saying he would rather talk to the dance group. The hilarious cameo comes amid rumors that Liam is now dating supermodel Naomi Campbell, with sources claiming that the pair have been involved in a mind-blowing romance. In the closing routine, Throwbacks implemented social media into their dance, and even welcomed in a few surprise guests who appeared through FaceTime calls. First was Little Mix star Perry Edwards, who gushed that she would have to perform with the group sometime. And next was Liam who sparked a thunderous response from viewers as this name appeared on the screen, with Cheryl holding her phone close to hand as part of the display. However it seemed Liam was uninterested in calling to chat about their son Bear, instead asking her to pass the phone over to the throwbacks. He then went on to gush, Hey man, you guys are killing it. I'd love you to teach me some tricks sometime so make sure you get my number of Shay. Luckily Cheryl took the moment in good humor as she played up her unimpressed response, ending the call so the dance could continue. As the group's display came to a close they were also joined by X Factor judge Robbie Williams, who went on to share his support for the group. The dance sent fans into tailspin as many were thrilled to hear that Cheryl and Liam were still on good terms, seven months after they announced their split. Last month Cheryl revealed that they have remained on extremely good terms, and even spent Christmas together along with their one-year-old son. Speaking to the son, she said, there's no animosity whatsoever. In fact, Liam spent Christmas Day with us. He cooked the turkey and everything at our home. His family came on the 23rd, and then he was in the house before I woke up on Christmas Day. It comes amid rumors that Liam has been dating supermodel Naomi Campbell, with sources telling The Sun on Sunday that they have been having a mind-blowing time. The pair were first publicly spotted with each other when they attended a concert at the O2, in London on January 28, but they rung in the New Year together, partying in Ghana. And recently it was revealed that Naomi was the photographer being a gym Instagram snap he posted with chains around his neck although she is currently in solo in New York for the star-studded Fashion Week. While Cheryl's imaginative concept went down a storm at home, the judges offered a more constructive response, with Matthew suggesting the calls distracted from the actual dancing. Odie agreed, adding, I'm a huge huge fan, but I feel that because of gimmicks you guys stopped dancing and I really wanted to see more of you guys dancing. You are amazing and I really enjoy watching you, I want to see more. Despite a mixed reception to the dance, Cheryl bounced back at the start of the show following a slight stumble last week, busting a move with her ex in an ad flashing crop top. The stunning songstress took to the stage after a source told Mail Online that she stumbled in last week's routine, but ever the pro managed to soldier on. Cheryl looked amazing once again as she delivered a jaw dropping performance with her fellow coaches, along with the remaining eight acts as they kicked off the live show. The mother of one flaunted her amazing figure in the grey crop top and fuchsia pink trousers, with her brunette dresses pulled back into a voluminous ponytail. This time she managed to nail the routine after a few stumbles last week, with one viewer writing on Twitter, Cheryl messing up the dance intro. Did she slip or just forget the moves? Hashtag the great dancer hashtag Cheryl Tweedy. An insider has revealed what happened to Mail Online, explaining, Cheryl slipped at the beginning of the performance and lost her balance. These things obviously happen on a live show. It happened during the first 10 seconds of the routine, but being the true pro she is, she carried on a delivered a knockout performance. The slip didn't shake her. It's a shame a few people on Twitter want to try and make out she forget the dance moves, which of course she didn't. Cheryl's night started in spectacular fashion as her first act Dane Bates Collective earned rave reviews for their Hollywood-themed routine, with several viewers suggesting it was inspired by Cheryl's own struggles with fame. Performing a contemporary routine based around Marilyn Monroe, the group earned plenty of praise from their coach and the rest of the panel. Cheryl gushed, 
Obviously I've been with you since the first idea and I still get chills, it gives me chills you're so emotive, Sasha your face how you get into character is actually incredible. KLA also kicked off the show in spectacular fashion, giving the panel chills with a nice themed routine. Matthew gushed, I definitely got the versatility it was so good, it was so good, my biggest thing is I said that because I wanted you to get out of your comfort zone. I saw growth tonight it was really strong. Cheryl added, I absolutely loved it and I didn't think we needed to see versatility but tonight watching that, I thoroughly enjoyed it all the different dances all the different faces, the spins I don't even think I've got the strength to spin somebody I was so impressed girls. Meanwhile Prospects Fraternity went back to school for a tables themed dance, but sadly earned a mixed reception from the panel for repeating old ideas. Cheryl said, it's an energy thing it's a vibe, not ever move was perfect and that's fine, the fact that you can flip off a desk, it's so good. I love the symmetry that really does good things for my brain. But, the table thing I have seen it done before. Odie agreed, you guys always represent street dance really well, I agree with Cheryl if you are gonna do school kids, do it well, make sure it's tight, but you guys are amazing. James and Oliver also struggled to win over the panel with a lay miserable themed dance, as they were criticized for a lack of synchronicity. Harry and Leah once again wound with a routine based around four walls, but Matthew quickly pointed out that their set only consisted of three walls. Snapping back to defend her act, Cheryl pointed out that the fourth wall was actually the camera. Next was Company Jinx who decided to go for a modern twist on a classic as they dressed up as toys, and Cheryl couldn't help but gush about their dance. She said, The choreography for me was so fresh I love it I am such a fan, I find myself sitting there thinking I need to learn those moves. And while the panel were once again mesmerized by 14-year-old Dan Sorelli, Matthew did suggest that she focused more on her performance. But it all came down to closing moments as it was revealed which two acts would be eliminated. Cheryl's choice of concept paid off as all three of her acts were revealed to be safe, meaning Matthew saw two of his acts voted off, in the form of Prospects Fraternity and Company Jinx.